welcome the Georgian singer Tornike here. He's uh, alongside with uh, Natya, who is the head of delegation from Georgia this year. Um, first of all, Tornike, uh, you have been uh, selected last year already uh, to represent your country at Eurovision uh, with uh, the song Take Me As I Am. And all of a sudden, well, it was probably expected that the Eurovision had to be canceled. How did you feel with this situation? Yeah, hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, first of all, uh, thanks. And for that song, I don't know, It's. Uh, I think it's more important uh, say that your health for this uh, because of this pandemic, uh, COVID-19. So, it's uh, it was uh, so it, it was inevitable and so we so of course we are we are not happy none of us so but yeah. we just received it as it was right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um so good to know that you uh, have another chance to go this year um so not every singer from last year has the same uh, luck i would say uh how are your prepare, preparations for Rotterdam so far? Do you feel confident? Is everything fine with your stage performance and so on? Yeah, we all already have a stage performance and we are uh, uh, taking some uh, rehearsals. And yeah. So we already recorded this LOT live on tape, so which mm -hmm. Is, is a backup this year. So in case if a singer is not on the stage, so the Eurovision team will use it. So we already finished this. We also finished postcard filming. Yeah. Uh, and uh, now we are in the process of working on a real staging and uh, Tornika has rehearsals and we're doing interviews and so on. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we are... Is acoustic version, uh, yes. So we are going to record the acoustic version of the song You. Yes, uh, let's talk about you, the song You and Tornika. Um, <laughs> this time you're sending a ballad. Last last year, uh, the song Take Me As I Am was more kind of rock song. It was not even the first song uh, you wanted to enter the Eurovision. I remember you had uh, You Are My Sunshine was more experimental. Um, do you feel confident with the ballads uh, this year? Uh, because there are not many ballads in this competition this yeah. year. It, uh, I did not... Uh, yeah, I did not plan to, it, it, to be ballad. This <laughs> song is ballad. <laughs> And I'm trying to sing it well. Uh, so no matter, yeah, what you sing, rock or ballad. Yeah, it's the uh, style. I love all the styles, all those styles. Yeah, yeah, good to know. Um, for Georgia, it's the 13th entry uh, this year. Um, in the beginning, uh, we had Sofo, Diana Gurskaya, <laughs> Sofia Nizarat, and Eldrina. They all uh, made a good position at the end. Um, but in the last years, Georgia uh, did not even qualify for the final. Uh, so my question is, um, how big is the interest in the Eurovision Song Contest in Georgia? Yeah, it's a very big interest and all the Georgians uh, want to win uh, in, uh, in Eurovision because Georgians uh, love Eurovision very much. Yeah, there are a lot of singers. They really dream to become a part of the big Eurovision family. So they, there are a lot of singers. They, they want to uh, represent their country and to be on the Eurovision. Yeah, because it's a really big pleasure. And uh, uh, Eurovision is really pretty and nice and cool uh, competition, music show. Song, um, song show. Yeah. yeah. Um, in your song, which uh, which is uh, 
the ballad that we already talked about. Uh, it says, sunshine, I want to touch you. Wind blow, I want to see you. Uh, what is the real meaning of the song? Could you explain this for our viewers? It's about love, nothing else. So what can I say? I, I'm, I'm singing it. <laughs> um, you, Georgia also was, um, oh, you have been in the Georgian Idol, in the X Factor in uh, Georgia. Uh, and you also got in contact with Tamta. Can you tell us about this? Tamta. Tamta, who, who ah, Tamta was Cyprus. Tamta was best mentor, and she's mentor best mentor ever. Uh, she's a very good person, and she's uh, really uh, professional. Of, and she's uh, she's uh, professional of uh, her job, and she makes it very cool and great. I think, and uh, that show that shows the uh, Georgian Idol and X Factor was really good for me, and it's I love it that shows, and also I love uh, voice, and I love uh, oh, I love this shows because projects. Yeah, yeah. yeah, projects because uh, it gives chance to uh, vocalists and singers uh, to have more. How can I say? Show up. Yeah, show, themselves, show up. To show themselves, to represent themselves. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did Tamta give you some advices for Eurovision? Because she represented Cyprus in, <laughs> in Tel Aviv in uh, 2019. Did she help you with how should you behave? What, what's, what's important? And uh, could, could she give you some advices? Not, not this time, but... Uh, uh, she told me in the in instructor uh, do uh, what you want to do and uh, what you can do the best. That's all. I think uh, everyone should do. You had a freedom. Yeah. <laughs> freedom of action. Yeah. Good. Um, uh, what is your hope and wish, uh, or any last words from you to our viewers? Um, I wish you all the best and uh, thank you very much. That's all. Thank you, Tornike Kipiani from Georgia and Natya, the head of delegation for this interview. Thank you so much. Uh, we cross our fingers and let's cross our fingers as well for the Eurovision that it will be live in Rotterdam as planned. Okay, good luck. Have a good time. Okay. And thank you. See you bye, bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye.